All right, it is August 18th and we are going to go snorkeling with the salmon in Campbell River. First time this year, hopefully they're there. Pretty sure they are. Bridge is a little bit sketch. After walking two kilometers along the Canyon View Trail with all of our gear, we finally made it to the deep pool below the John Hart Generating Station. You can often see schools of pink salmon here just from the shore. Alrighty, time to jump in! The water was a bit dark because we came here in the evening and we were losing sunlight. So we'll come back on the weekend when the sun is out to get some better shots. Time to hike back to the car. Careful, mom! Okay, so today is August 21st and the sun is shining. So hopefully we'll get some amazing shots. Oh yeah. Now we can see much deeper into the water. Mom was the first one to get in, as usual. Guess I'd better join her. And here comes Nikki with a brave entrance. Salmon like to hang out at the bottom of deep pools, so we had to free dive down to about 20 or 30 feet to get these awesome shots. That's why we're wearing weight belts, to help us get down there. Pink salmon are definitely the most common species in this area in late August and September when they return to spawn. However, there are a few sockeye in the mix. They're easy to spot because they turn bright red before they spawn. So keep your eyes open for those sockeye. Pink salmon have the shortest life cycle of all the salmon species. Adults spawn in late August and September, the young emerge in March or April and migrate directly to the ocean when they reach 2.5 to 3.5 centimeters. They will then return to the same spot as two-year-old fish to spawn. the smallest of the salmon species, averaging about four to six pounds. incredible. I just love swimming through here. Okay, first time snorkeling with salmon. What do you think? It was very cool. <laughs> there were so many. They were everywhere. 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 There's a yeah, they're amazing. Um, no Chinook, but hundreds of pinks. Hundreds of pinks. Did like at least a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hold my breath that long. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but we'll definitely come back to hopefully see more species later on when the water will be colder. Great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, adios. This trail is not for everyone. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <You're okay. laughs> yeah, but it's worth it.
Okay, today is September 5th, and I'm doing this for the third time, so let's see what we see today. Here we go, chilling with the gym. Woo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Nice! <laughs> Every year, 60,000 to 400,000 adult pink salmon return to the Campbell River to spawn. Pink salmon are also referred to as humpbacks because of the shape of the spawning male. Okay, time to play in the rapids. Check out that beautiful red sockeye. Okay, let's see what we can find in the fast currents below the logging road bridge. A couple of pink salmon actually bumped into my camera. <laughs> I found these bones, but I'm not too sure what they are. Blackmouth or Taiyi are the biggest of all salmon species, weighing anywhere from 5 pounds to over 100 pounds. In the Campbell River, Chinook can often be found in the mid-20 pound range. Chinook enter the river in August, spawn in October, and the young emerge in the early spring. The fry rear for up to 3 months in the river and the estuary, then migrate to the ocean as 6 to 9 centimeter smolts. Chinook spend from two to six years at sea and up to 10,000 adults return to the Campbell and Quinson rivers each year. What magnificent creatures. Oh man, my first coho that I got on camera. That's so cool. And like, well maybe not hundreds, but like tons of Chinook down the river. That was so cool. 